What's up guys, in this video I am going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. So in this video I will be using debut theme. So in the next videos I will be showing you with the other themes. So currently you can see that I have this card page here and I have PayPal simple button and then we have uh, debit or credit card button. So I have removed the code and if you will refresh this page then you will no more able to find those uh, buttons here because I am going to perform uh, from zero to end so that you get to know that how I implemented this code. And the important thing is that uh, I already uh, uh, uploaded a lot of videos on this but the problem was that I have updated some code through which you will be getting product information in your uh, PayPal receipt of course. So uh, currently I have this simple store which is like test store. I had to show you how you can implement the things. So I have only single product here. Here you can see. So let me show you the code. So first of all you need to go to the dashboard and then after you need to click on online store. Then click on themes. And then automatically you will be redirected to this specific uh, page and here you need to click on actions then we have edit code and now you will see all those files and folders so here you can see that we have layout template and sections so specifically for debut theme you need to click on sections then you need to click on cart dash template dot liquid file and then you will be getting this specific code so let me copy a few things so I will be uh, sharing you my uh, file uh, below in the description. So you just click on that uh, link and you will be redirected to this specific page and from there you can copy and paste. So the first thing is like I am going to copy this line and let me paste it over here on the top. So make sure this must be on the top. Then after you have to copy this script so you can see that this is the script I am going to copy this one and let me paste it down below so here we you will be getting this schema this is the, actually the JSON so above this you have to paste it so I have just pasted over here so now everything is done one thing is remaining which is uh, this specific line of code which is uh, this one PayPal button container so you should copy this one again and then uh, we are interested to show the buttons uh, over here uh, I mean below the checkout button so I have just pasted on line number 297 and make sure you should compare the things so here you can see that additional checkout button and above this line of code I am going to paste it alright so for the clarity I am going to do it like this alright so make sure this is the perfect place for this so let me save this code and let me refresh this page again so now you can see that I have this specific uh, uh, button these buttons over here but I am uh, interested to uh, keep it little smarter I mean uh, the, the design must be neat and clean and uh, for that I have to copy some code down below uh, this one so what I will be doing here is I am going to copy this one and then after I am going to paste it on the top but one more thing I have to show you is you can actually copy this whole style and then you should paste it on the top alright and then you should save it so if you will save then if you will refresh now you can see that everything is uh, up and running I mean we have PayPal we have debit or credit card and above this we had the checkout button so if you are thinking you have needed that checkout button then you need to remove this code which is uh, cart submit alright this code you should delete it from here for example I am going to delete this one let me save this and if I am refreshing this page and now you can see that here we have the checkout button alright so you need to uh, if you wanted to keep it as it is then you can again uh, undo this these changes and then save this so one last thing that is uh, you need to uh, replace this specific client ID with your uh, PayPal client ID which is live so I will be adding the link below in the description uh, through which you will able to find out that how uh, you can uh, find that specific client ID from your PayPal which is actually linked to your Shopify store and whenever some customers are uh, placing any order then you will be receiving the money in over there alright 
so uh, here in the uh, place of SB you need to replace with the client ID which uh, you will be watching in my video all right so that's it uh, for now so you can see that we have if you will refresh this page you will be getting this uh, specific code and if you will see in the responsive responsive means in the mobile view you can also see like this so here you can see that we have neat and clean uh, buttons here so for the reference I wanted to show you that how from where I got this code so I actually copied the code from uh, PayPal official uh, document which is like developer dot paypal dot com forward slash demo forward slash checkout so if you will search this specific URL then you will be redirected to uh, the page which is like this so I have managed the code from here so I just uh, uh, organized in such a way that you should not be confused so this was the reference so in the next video I will be showing you another uh, with another theme that how you can implement that but in this video I had to show you with debut theme specifically so make sure to follow all these steps and I will be adding the link below in the description through which you can follow the code step by step and if you are facing any issue then you can uh, ask me the question below in the description so if you have any technical issue then of course I will be helping you out with that and if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and like this video so thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video.